Hello again there YouTube fans, this is the real creepy doll man here. I'm back, but this is not a new episode. I decided to come back this May the 16th of 2020, and it's now 2.17 a.m. Now as you know, the real creepy doll man is not clean shave for the day. I'm going to explain something. The reason why I came back today is because I'm telling all the fans out there, I decided to retire from the junk business due to the coronavirus known as Chrono 19 or Chrono 19. Uh, well, the coronavirus is new. It's been around. My last junk pick day was on February the 3rd of 2020. It was my last day doing the junk pickup. I decided after I was going to go back and do it again a week later. So I found all this crap happened that the virus is spread across not just from China but other countries as well as well as America. It hit home and you know it's also hit here in Louisville. We have the lowest death rate here in Louisville right now. <laughs> but that's that's sort of a good news out of the people that you know lives around. That means the whole Kentuckyana has the lowest death rate. Versus all the other cities that lost a lot of people's lives to this coronavirus nightmare since it came out. Now, the reason why I decided to quit jump picking because it is not safe to jump pick. I'm sending this message out to all my fellow jump pickers out there. No matter if you're a male or a female and you like to jump pick to make a little money worth scrap metal, dolls, action figures, furniture any electronics, or anything else, you have to understand, if you're trying to sell it, whether it be to the junk, uh, to recycling center for, you know, if it's metal, or if it's, you know, something else, like you're going to donate it to maybe a thrift store, or, you know, try to sell it for a little bit of money for gas, cigarettes, you know, or even if you're trying to get, you know, booze with it. I'm stating this to all the fans out there. Play it safe. And just don't jump pick. It is not safe now until they come up 100% with an antidote or a vaccine to get rid of this coronavirus. And right now the death rate might climb. I'm going to say this to all the fans, not trying to you know scare them and not trying to confuse them. That I believe the death rate will continue and the second wave will hit us before... And I'm going to state this, before flu season, as soon as all these places open back up, which they already are now, in certain countries, in cert, uh, certain countries within the U.S. has already opened up already. Here in Louisville, they already opened by May the 11th, a few places. Factories are opening up. Uh, any factory jobs, any chiropractors, dentistry, and also... A few places that are opening up, including doctor offices. I Many of you have to go to the doctor. Your family physician's open. The sad part is we're not going to be open back up to May the 20th for all retailers to open back up. And then after that, it'll be by the 25th, it'll be, you know, salons, barbers, and I think restaurants are going to open back up in May the 25th. So I say play it safe social distance and make sure that you are safe plan six feet apart if you do not do this because a lot of people are not going to do this i see a lot of people are going to break the rules they will refuse to wear one of these let me show you i got my mask right here i want you to see it now a lot of people are going to refuse to wear one of these now this is my mask now, if you have seen the creepy doll man, I have been out and about with this mask on. And I can tell you, this is what I was wearing when I was out and about. Now, this is a handmade mask. And I think people need to learn to have to deal with these for a while. Until there is 100% a cure or a vaccine for this, you know, coronavirus, you'll have to wear one of these for a very long time. And I can show you how this thing works real fast. That uh, I wanted to show you. 
this is how you're gonna have to be looking when you have to wear one of these. I'm supposed to be clean shaved, but you know I'm not that clean shaved. And this is how you gotta look to wear one of these. And uh, so this is my personal mask, and it does fit over my face perfectly. Now I've been wearing this in the out and about for a while, and I can tell you it does fit me perfectly uh, than other people. But I understand that that this is not a joking game that you can die from the coronavirus. Now, as you can see, I'm not clean shaven. I should have been shaved for this. But you know, the real creepy doll man. It had to bring a point. I have decided to retire from this year of jump picking. My last jump pick day was on February the 3rd of 2020. I am retired from now from jump picking of anything. This goes for action figures, dolls, electronics, video games, you name it. Anything is worth value. I used to do purses, you name it, lamps. I'm now 100% retired from this. I'm not doing it no more. So I'm going to say this again one more time for all those people out there. Be cautious if you're going to jump pick. But I say this to all the jump pickers, don't do it. It's not worth your life. And if you endanger somebody else with getting this stuff that you don't know if it's clean or not, doesn't matter if you get out of the trash can, dumpster, or whatever, it's not going to be sanitized. So you better sanitize it before you sell it. If not, you're going to put a lot of people at risk and a lot of people that, you know, to be sick or worse yourself if you not wear gloves or a mask to handle the product. You don't know what they may have. So I said this, be safe, social distance, and God bless you all. And the Real Creepy Doll Man saying, I'm going to say something next. The third anniversary is coming up next. Before I kick that off, I am going to bring out something before that so watch for that video next and this is a real creepy doll man sending all the fans out there goodbye and god bless you all